Recent surveys show you might not be getting enough fruits and vegetables. Only about 25% of Americans on average are eating five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Fruits and veggies can still make great additions to recipes even though summer's over. Watch for different apple and pear varieties during the fall. Some of the most wonderful pears that are out there, for example, that are going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks are a Comis pear, and it's actually called the peach of fall. Uh, it's a wonderful pear when it ripens up. Apples kept in the fridge will last longer, but don't keep your pears there too long. You want to store them in refrigeration before they start to ripen. Uh, once they start that process, though, you're going to want to have them at room temperature. Can't wait for those bananas to ripen? You don't have to. A lot of times what you can do is put a fresh apple in a brown paper bag with your bananas that you like to ripen up, and that will actually help spur on the ripening. When it comes to fitting veggies into your diet, remember, you've got lots of options. All of these forms count, so not just the fresh, but the canned, the frozen, dried, or even 100% juice. Veggies don't have to be just a side dish. If you take them away from the side dish and put it into the main dish, like chili, that contains so many beans and vegetables, it's a great way of getting your vegetables. And eating fruits and veggies could be a path to savings in the long run. I think that you're going to be a healthier person and spend less money in your life because you're eating healthier. Breakfast, dinner, lunch, it's important to get it all day long, not only for your long-term health, but for, for your daily performance. For your shopper's market, Brenda Butner, Fox News.